welcome back to Adobe Photoshop. Today we are going to bring a picture into Photoshop, then we are going to start a new document, do a cutout or select the uh, subject with a quick selection tool, place it onto the new document and literally start working on your magazine project. So you see I have a folder here on my desktop that says Photoshop. I encourage you to have a folder for every Adobe um, app we're going to work with. You can just click on the picture, do right click and say open with and then scroll down to Adobe Photoshop. Or you can open Photoshop and then hit open, file open and open the picture from your folder. While the picture opens in Adobe Photoshop, uh, today we are going to work with a quick selection tool. So basically uh, what I would encourage you to do is make sure you have a good understanding of the tools and you are able to do a nice job on them. So I'm going to click on the layers tool, I will unlock my first layer, then I will click on the quick selection tool and remember quick selection is basically a combination of marquee and laso except it's smarter, it's a whole lot smarter. Then you start with, an, with one uh, from one corner and you keep dragging this tool to select the subject. So basically this uh, what you're interested in is to only select the subject and ignore the background which is what this tool does. So now I'm going to select the arm and then sometimes because the colors are so close to each other pixels wise everything gets selected. So now I need to get rid of this section right here. To do that I'm gonna hold my finger on the option key and you see how my plus the plus sign inside there became a minus. So now I'm going to subtract from my selection. If I like what I see I can zoom in and it looks like I'm missing part of her nail so now I'm gonna go within my options menu adjust the size of my tool and I'm going to just fix little details that I need to take care of. Make sure you get rid of everything that shouldn't be there. Right there there's a little bit more between her fingers there. Then I need a little nail there. So basically go around your subject She's missing the eyelashes right there. Okay, go around the subject and select it perfectly. Make sure hair is well selected and I'll be honest with you, hair is the most difficult part. If you like what you see, which is all right for now, I'm gonna zoom out. I will then click on something else that's going to figure, uh, figure help me figure out if this selection is good or not. So I'll click on select and mask and when I do that Photoshop is going to give me a couple of options in terms of how I would like to lay my picture or what's the background to it. I want to have it on overlay because it gives me a very clear understanding of where I'm standing with my picture. So now that I'm here these tools on the left side again are going to help me to either add to my selection command Z or I'm going to click on the minus side sign and I'm going to remove from my selection. So you see now this is going to adjust my okay that's too much there so let me zoom in a little bit let me adjust the size of my tool um, and then you can basically just work with the details here so I need her eyelashes there just click around and make sure her chin right here it looks like it's got a little bit too much but make sure you see I might take some of her finger in there too so these are detailed things that you have to take very 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 good care of. Uh, the refine edge tool is very similar so you see that adds to your selection uh, the minus um, that, that actually fixes your selection so plus and minus always just play with those and be patient wait for it to do what you're asking it to do when you're working with Photoshop sometimes your computer might be a little slow so you see I selected it wait for it to pick the selection let me uh, click on the plus sign there and let me add a little bit more to her hair there it goes so you see I'm going to use this tool right there to help me take care of the details I can make the tool a tiny bit larger let me adjust it and I'll be honest with you this part of the project is going to take probably the most amount of time because you want to make sure your edges are looking clean and well worked on refined that's the word I would use right now so 
whenever you like what you see, you will just hit return on your uh, on your computer or enter to make sure those changes apply. And basically, what this does is it uh, fixes your selection. Okay, I see a little bit of white there too. Good. Let's make sure around her eyelashes here everything is clean. Okay. Okay. If we like what we see, now we're going to ask Photoshop to do something smart for us. So I'm going to scroll down and under uh, the refine mode, I'm going to open this um, and I'll move my radius to about two pixels. Then I'll scroll down, I'll smooth, I'll smooth out uh, to about six or seven pixels. I'll scroll down. Let's give a second to my computer. It's taking a moment to process all the changes that I am applying. Um, and if I like what I see, I'm just going to hit return. Give Photoshop a moment to accept my return. And there it is. So what it did, it took me back to my selection, but now it's the selection that I have fixed. So the next step that I'm going to do is to start a new document. I'll be back with another video for that. Um, and please stay tuned.